All right, thanks so much for watching on iHeartRadio.com and Hot99.5.com. My name's Cruz. I'm here with three of the guys from One Direction. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hello! <laughs> now, you guys told me right before we started, I can ask you anything. 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 First of all, I think it's a bit personal. We'll just have to do the no comment. No comment. No, you're not, you're not going to do the no comment with me, are you? If it, if it gets personal. All right, well, personal. here's I what I want to say. First of all, congratulations on, on everything. Last Thank time you. we talked, you guys uh, had just sold out the tour. You, and you were about to go to Australia, all yep. right? And I feel like once you guys left, I, I don't know if America started missing you, but everything popped up online. Rumors about everything. Whoa. So can I just can I just get yes or no let's on rumors? Let's, let's go no quick by yes or no. All right, yeah. can we start with chlamydia? Let's start with chlamydia. Oh. What, what's the deal? Was, was this a true story that you guys held a koala bear and, and were afraid that you had chlamydia? Okay. You know, we, did, we did the same thing in the interview. We said, ask whatever you want. Yeah, right? and this is what And they told us the fact about koalas so, passing chlamydia. Right. Koala bears are very susceptible to Chlamydia, that's a commonly known fact about koala bears. Is it? And I made well, a very bad I joke. Think, I think it's a hidden secret. But that's it's a hidden it. secret. I had a very bad joke about, I hope we don't get chlamydia from this koala bear. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And then in the newspaper the next day, I had chlamydia. Did, did you go to the clinic? Did you get no, tested? No, the, the, news, oh. the, 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 the newspaper said it. They, they give me a, you know. Some medicine. It's just a really bad joke. It's a horrible joke, and now everyone joke. everyone thinks you might have chlamydia. So I've I'm, never had chlamydia. I'm, I'm, good. <laughs> STD free. STD yeah. free. How yeah. about that? That's amazing. Did you hear that Nile and Carly Rae Jepsen are together? They've They're slept together. together. They've slept together. Yeah. They've slept together. Yeah. They've slept yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So so when did this start? When did it start? You know, they kind of just met each other and they just kind of Where, get together. They met online. There's a there's some kind of limit of the amount of women you're allowed to have in the hotel, and that your management makes sure that you guys are focused by limit by saying no. You know, you've reached your quota of women. That in the is hotel. the most ridiculous rumor. It's very I funny. Have ever very. Well, very I was going to say, if I were you, I'd put my foot staff. down. I'd say no. It's not, but we have like female staff, like my, uh, one of our managers, Lisa. Would you say go towards female staff? Like? Well, I don't think they're talking <laughs> about the staff members. I think they're talking about maybe. Uh, maybe some. I wouldn't know anything about that. You would no. Let's get. $160,000 for your butt. True or false? Did you insure oh. your bottom? Very funny story. Yeah. But why insure? Like, I'm not going to lose it. I'm I know, not to insure it. It's not going to break his bottom. It's, you know, it's, I mean, it isn't true. It's built for right? comfort. But, but why? Why insure it? Well, Big bottom. I, the, the part of the story that I didn't understand was why only $160,000? To be honest, I think that's quite a lot. Kim Kardashian's got a big bum and she's never insured it, I'm sure. I thought she did, as a matter of fact. Her, her and J-Lo, yeah, they're, they're insured. But why? Why would you why, insure your bum? What's going to happen? That someone's not going to insure it. Is that in case you lose weight or what? Or is that in case somebody gets a better bum than you? I think it's in case something should happen. If you sit on a pen, it deflates. Right, exactly. And, and if, if, you're, if you didn't, you know, say you fall down. And and it's the form. And you wake up one day and there is no bum. There is no See, bum. It's, it's just a back. It's a long back. Right. Um, so now that you guys have basically been all over, you're selling out shows, you're selling out tours all over, are you getting paid? No, not at all. We're doing it for the love of music. I know, I know that you... <laughs> we're doing it for the love of music. Right, obviously. But I, I know, you know, I, I know Simon Cowell probably got paid, right? Not that we know of, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> He yeah. just liked us very much. Yeah. He's, 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 he's doing it for fun. Yeah. Yeah. We get paid in fizzy cola bottles. What's that? We get paid in fizzy sweets. And that's it? Yeah. That's it. Sweet. So yeah. you, you guys haven't gone out and bought million dollar flats, have you? No. And there's none of that? No, nothing to those rumors? I live in a gingerbread house. Do you? Yeah. Which isn't durable. It's not good. It's not good. You know who uh, the rumor is that who's coming to the show tonight? Who? The first lady, Michelle Obama. Yeah, so we've heard. She's and and Sasha Malia. Well. Uh, did, did you guys get to meet them yet? We met yeah. them at the uh, team at the uh, Kid Choice Awards. Oh, you did? Okay. So she's going to come and, and hopefully she enjoys herself with the kids and, and has a great time? Yes. Hopefully we're going to put on a good show. I can't thank you guys enough. And seriously, continued success with everything. You guys, we love you at Hot 99.5. We keep playing your song. And your fans are the greatest. They did a flash mob for you. Right outside in downtown Houston. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you guys so much. I've tried playing in.